Oh, I got a fish on here. I got a fish. I was getting ready to, I was getting ready to move. I've given this spot here an hour. Haven't had anything. And I was gonna reel in my baits here and move and I'd be doggone if I ain't got a fish. So I guess we're starting this video. I'm all right with that. We can get it started. I'm still probably gonna move. Oh, that's a nice carp right there too. That's what I'm hoping to get today, y'all. That right there. Let me get him on over here. I'm gonna get my net and get him up here on the bank. I just took my tripod down too, doggone it. <laughs> I was just packing up and getting ready to go. That's a nice fish right here, guys. This is a nice fish. Good carp. Real good carp. Ate him some corn that I had on a hook there with a method feeder. A little method lead with some pack bait. I'm just gonna tire him out a second. I, the last carp video I posted from a regular audience, you'll know I, I lost the rod. Snapped a snapped one of my good bait rods here my one of my bass rods that I also just happened to use for carp so we're trying not to have another incident like that <laughs> gets expensive when you start breaking rods okay y'all oh, that's a nice carp that's a nice carp right there man that's a big one buddy that's a big carp I think that's a new PB for me right there. That's a new PB. There it is, folks. That might be a new PB for me. That's a dang nice carp, man. He's thick, buddy. Look at that. Nice. Literally never saw him hit. I packed up my chair, my tripod, getting ready to move spots because I've been here an hour. Nothing going on and felt him on my line and turned my camera on real quick and reeled this thing in. Nice, man. Nice, got him on some corn and some pack bait. All right, well, that's a nice carp. I was gonna leave, but now I'm thinking maybe I'll throw some more bait out right here. What do you say? Uh, let's let him go and let's do that. All right, buddy. There he goes. He's going home. I'll tell you something, folks, the more of them carp I catch, the more I like them, man. They had a dang good time. I'm about to go check this rod over here, though. It's time for me to reel it in and put some fresh pack bait on there regardless. But that other one, I never saw him hit, you know, never, didn't even know he was there. So um, anyway, back here in this creek today in the shallows, uh, you know, just a foot or so, two feet deep out there where I've got my baits cast. But I initially come back out here uh, when I got out here today, just looking, just looking for muddy water where these carp have been rooting around and saw some here and set up. I just, you know, again, before that fish, nothing going on here in the first hour. So I thought I'm gonna move. That is, I may have just smeared mud all over my face when I went to wipe my nose. Um, it's wet, maybe it's just water. Who knows what's happening on this video? I don't get a lot of views on these carp videos either. It don't matter, but um, I was going to just kind of paddle around back here and see if I could find some more tore up areas and maybe set up. But uh, now that fish there, I think, has inspired me to give this spot a little bit more time. So let's cast some more bait out here. I'll show you what I'm using for bait and we'll see if we can get some more. All right, guys. So there's the bait that the fish is going to ultimately eat. That's four kernels of corn there on a number four Gamagatsu G hook. What I've got here to draw them in is a handful of pack bait. That's panko breadcrumbs, some more kernels of corn, and strawberry jello mixed all together here. And it makes a like a glob that you can pack onto a method lead, which is a, is a weight with a cage here that you can push down, and it just makes a a ball of basically just attractant of chum that you can cast out on this. Now, you can take your hook here and bury into this ball of pack bait 
just to cast better make sure you don't cast the corn off in the cast or you can not you know totally up to you but that's what i'm casting out and i'm not casting real far because when i come in here earlier the water was kind of tore up like right here in front of me that's where the where it looked like there had been some activity from these carp so i'm just gonna make another just kind of lob it out there And those fish, they will pick up on that scent there in the water as those breadcrumbs and all that kind of loosens with the water, it disperses, and they'll get in there and root around that and suck up that corn, and then they'll eventually suck up the corn that has the hook. And that's what'll be, that's what'll, usually when they feel that hook and the resistance on your line, they bolt. Uh, this is often called a, a, a bolt rig. Uh, in the carp world from my understanding because of that because they they bolt that fish did not uh did not bolt so i'm gonna just walk this back over here we'll put this in the rod holder on my kayak and then uh i'm gonna reel in i'm gonna reel in this other line here and check it again it's been I've been on the spot about an hour so that pack bait's probably all diluted and washed off and you know there could be turtles or something that's eating my corn off there too so we'll get a fresh bait out with it sit here a little while longer i may end up moving anyway but that was a pretty nice carp that was a dang good size one there so uh, we'll give the spot a little bit more time all this rod right here just got hit a second ago i'm gonna pick up on it i'll make sure he's got it but it, it got got tapped he don't have it oh he does too he does too. My rod got hit and I picked up on it. I didn't feel anything. He was just, that was another one just sitting there with it. Well, let's reel in another one here, y'all. I'm going to try to keep him out of that other line. Yeah, he just, my rod tip, it was weird. It got hit. It was obviously it got hit. But when I picked up on the rod, I mean, he was just not moving. I thought I seen a, like a old you know how they root around out there with my polarized glasses i thought i saw the area where he was at boy he's fighting hard now but uh yeah gonna reel in the bait put some more pack bait on there and by gosh i had him and he ain't done <laughs> that's a smaller one right there i could keep him for some catfish bait potentially i'll probably let him go though I don't really need any catfish bait today, so if we get any real small ones, I probably will. This one here, I've said before, these carp, they make. Let's see if we can pull him up here. I ain't going to use my rod to pull him up here. These things make good catfish bait, but boy, they're hard to cut up. Let's get that hook out. Got it right in the bottom of the lip there. Take that car, I'll take that hook back, Mr. Cart. Oh, oh. Oh, he's gonna splash around in the mud, get me all sopping wet. I was gonna hold you up for the camera mount there, for the front camera, I should say, fish, but now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ease you on back out to the water. Get on up out of here. You gonna act like that, you ain't getting your picture with me. I hope you feel bad about it too, Carp. That fish is disappointed, y'all. He didn't get a picture with me. But you know what? When you show out and you act like that, you can't always get your way. You can't reward bad behavior in life. It just, it, it sets a bad standard. So that fish ain't getting a picture with me today. But one of his friends out there might, cause I'm gonna reload some pack bait on that and some corn. We're gonna send it back out there and get some more. You know, maybe it took a while. You know, I'd sit here an hour, nothing going on. Got that other one, just cast these baits back out a little while ago and got another one here. So maybe now I've got enough, you know, enough pack bait, enough scent out there to draw on these carp in. Hopefully the bite will get a little bit more frequent from here. Well, there's the next glob of pack bait and corn going out. I'm gonna just toss it kind of in that same general area there. Not a real long cast. Just kind of right there where the water's torn up. I'll put it back in the rod holder. We ready for the next one? Put oh, right here. Look at this one. He just took that rod over, man. He just took that rod over. 
Got another one on this one rod here. That other rod just don't get messed with. They must be coming in from this way, possibly. Coming into this bait first. But I've sat here a long time, y'all. After that, that, I had that one, threw bait out. A few minutes later, I had the other one. But since that second fish, I have, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. Just sitting back, kicking back in my chair, relaxing. It's a Sunday afternoon, I'm filming this. The, you know, beautiful day here in East Tennessee. 60 some odd degrees today, so ton of bass boats, crappie boats, pleasure boaters out there in the main lake. I'm back here in one to two foot of water in this creek, got the place to myself. That's just how I like it. Fishing all by my lonesome. Just me and some hard pulling carp right here. This one here found him some corn he liked. That's gonna be another one here that's probably comparable to, yeah, a little bit bigger than the second one, a little bit smaller than the first. He still wound up though, man. I'm telling you, these things can flat out pull, especially on this lighter tackle. I got me some more. I got me some rods coming. After I broke my other Veritas rod the other day, I decided it wasn't too smart to be using this kind of rod for these kind of fish. So I've got me some uh, Catfish Sumo rods, uh, original chopsticks coming. I told... I reached out to the owner there and told him my malfunction here <laughs> that I had. And so he's sending me some of them and they'll be a lot better, uh, a lot better suited for what I'm hoping to do here. Oh, I missed him with the net. But they're gonna be spinning rods and uh, I'm gonna have four way I can really get some more bait out there, be able to spread my baits out a little more, hopefully catch some more fish. The more baits you got out, the more likely you are to get bit. This one here, I'd like to go ahead and let him go, but he is not ready for that to happen. Oh, I missed him again, y'all. I'm a terrible net man. Catfish, no problem. You just reach down, grab the daggone things. These carp with their mouths, not so much. There we go. That's another good one, man. He ain't quite as big as the first one, but uh, another dang good fish nonetheless, man. He's probably, I'd say he's ever bit of 10 pounds or more. These hooks, I just recently um, switched to these Gamagatsu G hooks. These are the number four size. I bought some number fours and number sixes. But they've held up good with the carp that I've caught. They haven't bent or anything. So let's get him up here, get the hero shot. There it is, guys. Another carp, man. Good time. I wish I was getting bit a little bit more frequently, but that's always the case no matter what I'm fishing for. But yeah, I'm just out here just enjoying a lazy Sunday afternoon. Pulled up on the creek bank, casting my baits out one to two feet of water. Got this area to myself. Just enjoying a relaxing day. What do you think about it, Mr. Carp? You got anything you want to say to the, to the audience out there? Anything? Nothing? Complete silence. Let's let him go. Let's send him home. There he goes. It's a dang good time, y'all. I'm telling you, get you some corn, get you some breadcrumbs or range cubes, whatever you want to fish with. Tons of carp recipes out there. But this one here that I'm using um, last today and the last trip, it's working pretty good, man. They, they like it. They like that corn. But if you can get some bait out there, some chum around your, your hook with the corn, it works. Y'all, this rod right here. This rod right here is getting hit.
Yeah. Oh. Dang, man, I blew it. I blew it. I saw, I saw my line and my rod tip kind of wiggling a little bit and I went down there and picked up on it and I felt him and jumped the gun. They got my corn though. They got my corn and all that pack bait. Dang. Oh, right there, right there. I'm hooked up, y'all. Oh boy, he's making a run. He's making a run. He's coming back toward the bank too. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and do some tripod shots here. I don't have much longer I can fish. The girlfriend has plans for me tonight. Y'all know how it is. Can't make plans for yourself. She gonna do it for you. But uh, I'll get me one more here at least. Well, he took that rod over, man. When them rods go over like that, it's like, it don't matter if it's a catfish or a carp, either one. It gets me excited either way. Every fish today, though, has been on this rod. The other one over there, they just ain't been taken. Here, well, he's still wound up, man. <laughs> he's still wound up. I've got him close, but I'm gonna walk out here with the net and get him. There, I got him. I got him then, y'all. I got him then. This is another, this is another good sized carp right here. I'm happy with this one, man. All right, guys, another carp there. I got the sun in my back, that's all right. That's another one there that, I mean, that's a solid fish. It's been, a, you know, limited bites this afternoon, but the, the fish that I've got, the few I have, have been pretty good quality. Nice, man. I like catching these things, y'all. They fun. Take off for me, buddy go home we do it again someday all right he gone well y'all fun times man fun times fun times on that one rod anyway this other one here it's got some judy on it or something well i'm gonna throw a little bit more out there again i don't have much longer to fish so uh you know in the event i don't get any more fish before i have to pack up and go we'll just go ahead and call this the close in the video it's a good time to wrap it up if i do get another fish well we'll have a little bonus fish in this episode so anyway guys it's been a fun day if i don't get any more man it's been a just a relaxing day out here just got my chair pulled up here on the creek bank just hanging out relaxing waiting for these rods to go down and when they do, there's a hard full of fish on the other end of it. So uh, anyway, guys, if this is it, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.